Cell division is essential for life, but must occur only when it is needed. Here we can see human cells dividing under the microscope. Each parental cell rounds up and divides to produce two genetically identical daughter cells. Human cells contain 46 chromosomes, or units of the genetic material called DNA. Each resulting daughter cell inherits a complete set of 46 chromosomes. Now, let's take a closer look at what's going on inside the cell. As a cell prepares to divide, its chromosomes are tightly condensed, labeled here in green. We can see the packs of chromosomes cleanly partitioned to the two daughter cells. Many types of cancer cells, like the breast cancer cell shown here, divide in an uncontrolled manner and are prone to errors in chromosome segregation. When the packs of chromosomes separate, we can see one chromosome is left behind. Because this chromosome is not segregated correctly, it is more likely to end up in the wrong daughter cell. Cells with inappropriate numbers of chromosomes can take on unique characteristics that make them more aggressive and difficult to treat. Here is another example of a cell dividing with lagging chromosomes. By studying the mechanisms that cells use to properly segregate their chromosomes, we can identify what goes wrong in a cancer cell and determine how it may be corrected. This type of research can lead to the discovery of new treatments for cancer.